Okay, hello and welcome to Spirit Hunters. And we're gonna put this video up to help try to explain some of the equipment that we use on some of our ghost hunts. And since you have a battery concern right now, why don't we start off with Huntman. So we have a, a FLIR thermal camera, which I don't know, if, let me see if I can try to hold it up in front. It kind of detects different temperatures in different body, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I, mean, I guess temperatures. just temperatures. Yeah. That'll work. I mean, but yeah, it's it's got different ranges from whether it could be what, negative 300 to, you know, plus 300 plus, you know, and it's just, it's a really cool device. Um, but it's something we use in every investigation. Unfortunately, the battery doesn't last that long, so we don't get to use it as much as we'd like. Um, but it's, it's a really cool feature and tool that we have that I'm glad we get to use. So, do we want to do use. one person just keep going around then? Yeah. Chrissy? Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'll start off with the Boo Bear. Um, this is a bear that uh, senses sound, temperature, um, EMF, touch, and vibrations. Um, it will also um, ask a series of questions. Um, kind of like, how old are you? Um, can you tell me a story? And different things like that to try to get a dialogue going. And we usually have like a camera around it and re something recording in case something actually does answer. Boo Bear. Which so. We've gotten quite a few things on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Boo Bear feels like a full on team member at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and these, I don't know if you can see. Our little EMF recorders. EVP. EVP. EVP recorders. <laughs> Electronic voice phenomenon. Um, or voice tracers, they say on here. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. You can ask questions. You talk to them. You can stop and replay. So you can do, like, real-time listening. Most of the EVPs you've gotten, though, you actually yeah. get on your phone. On phone. phone. On my phone. That's one of the best tools you can have. Yeah. <laughs> so if you already have a phone and you don't want to buy one of these, that's use your perfectly phone. fine to use this one. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, one of these, or these are a little convenient to ask a few questions and to hear it right back immediately. You know, yeah. you can respond to that. But her phone actually records really good. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You're up, Dan. Um, <clears throat> I have EMF readers. I have three different types, millimeter, K2, these um, electronic magnetic field. These use like oh, excuse me, <laughs> electric magnetic fields. They sense fields. They can detect if there's and in this case um, high milligauss readings, uh, and it will detect it and show the danger level to that reading. Uh, K2 meters are really easy to use. They're really easy to see in the dark. Um, millimeters are also very easy to use. They have a backlighting, and they also tell you room temperature. So if you have a sudden temperature drop, you can you know note that immediately, uh, and it's easy to be seen on a camera. Uh, Lancy. Okay. What I got over here is just lights. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important. We have a wide variety of work lights. Uh, little lights that we put on stairways so nobody trips and falls and then we have our like kind of more specialty ones like our infrared lights and uh, that's about it we uh, have a lot of battery operated lighting equipment that we take with us for places that may not have power and uh, yeah hump man you want to well, follow up on that? Yeah, going off of lights, I have, we also have some motion lights that are really, you know, much more, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, we the, we use them a lot more often than you think, especially when you're walking in a, like a dark hallway or something and you don't know where you're at. So you got a camera in one hand, EMF in the other hand, you don't have a light to kick on. They're super bright. Um, they're just, they're a good tool. Plus, if they're on camera and they go off and there's nobody around, it could be something. Yeah, terrible. exactly. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. yes. All right. So going off the motion things, we all have a motion sensor, like it's a motion alarm. Um, any kind of motion with that, I think it's like a six to seven foot range. Um, it goes off, sends a charm, a chime. It's really loud. Um, so even if it's not directly in front of a camera, say it's around the corner, that camera is still going to pick it up because of how loud it is. 
So that's also a really helpful tool that we use. Um, Chrissy? Yeah, we've got a lot of evidence. We that. did. We cut, yeah. Uh, this is a spirit box. And what it does is it scans through AM and FM stations. And if a spirit, some different frequencies might be easier for the spirits to speak with us through. So this will pick up, help them speak with us. Um, you can plug in headphones to this to, uh, so you can hear it better. We use these for uh, sensory deprivation experiments where somebody will we'll blindfold ourselves, wear headphones, and somebody will ask questions. And the person who's listening through the headphones will, if they hear anything from like the spirits, they just answer what they hear. And sometimes the answers do sync up with our questions. Um, one thing we have noticed, occasionally you will just get radio stations. Mm -hmm. um, there's been a few times. Um, so you just have to be careful to make sure what you're, you're listening to is legit, but you, you can usually tell. Mm -hmm. um, so. Um, one of the other things that I like to use, I don't know if this thing can see in here, is the SLS camera. I'll flip around, you can see some of the screen, I think. What this does is it maps out, like I can see Hopi, uh, stick figures. Um, and what they use in here is like, it comes right straight from the Connect, the Xbox Connect mm -hmm. has the sensors in there and it has like the little lasers in there that you can't really see, but it projects and Night bounces vision. off. And um, yeah, what it does is um, picks up people that you can't see, like my stick figure in the hallway at the stone house. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. He, that's what I caught him mass. on. Yeah. And other places, where else were we at? We were the at Dudley. The, uh, no, we couldn't get the work at the Dudley. Um, well, what's the one? Where was the one that we Owego. reached into the? Yeah. Was that a we go? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then also at the Enchanted Valley Inn. Right. Yeah. I caught a sticky figure Almost in there. Almost every place we got it working at, we caught something. And he actually um, responded back. I was just like, I see you. Can you wave? He oh, waved. yeah. He no, waved he back. Did. He goes, He yeah. did. So, I mean, I like it. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Right. It's really cool. Cool. Um, we have a couple different types of REM pods. These have a, like an other electric magnetic field. Anything that breaks that field will cause it to alarm. The closer you get, the more the the sound, the more lights that show up. This REM pod particularly also has um, a temperature detector. So anytime it goes beyond five degrees either direction of whatever the median temperature is. It will also alarm, and these lights here in the front will display, depending on the uh, number of, of degrees it drops. If it's over 10, different light, that sort of thing. Okay. And uh, next thing I got is just, we also use, well, what, what you have to is a, a variety of different cameras. Uh, everything from handheld cameras to body cams. Night vision. Uh, yeah. To... These small, unbranded cams that you can take with you to places <laughs> on the go. Um, and also, we use our phone our phones, cam a lot, phones, too. Phones, phones, a yeah. lot. But, yeah, we have a, a wide variety of cameras and uh, that can detect different or work in different lights. Mm. You know, night vision, IR, and some that are just your standard camera. We use our phones to record a lot even stuff. we use old cell phones as well those are handy if you have any of yeah. those sitting around your house we use them as static cams just mm -hmm. sitting up there yeah yeah well, the just camera set up. technology has advanced so much in cell phones that they mm -hmm. really are a, mm -hmm. a, a valuable yeah tool. yeah it's funny for well all of us sitting here uh, the only yeah. person in our group who wouldn't understand that would be nathan but you know it's weird to me still that your phone has a more advanced camera than like these that Older. used to be so expensive and you know yeah, <laughs> like, more, yeah. yeah. Um, I think I'll just finish off with my last two items that I yeah. have here um, one is walkie talkies and I think for anybody that's in a group of you know probably three or more maybe even two just depending um, walkie talkies are a huge item that you really need to get into because you know there's times where you're not always going to be together with your group um, something happens, you're by yourself, you can radio it in most likely, you know, 
Um, they got a call function on there, so say you can't talk, you hit the button, everyone's gonna know if something's up. Um, and me, <laughs> I send to, I don't know how, I always have them in my pocket, and um, almost every investigation, like clockwork, I always hit that freaking button, <laughs> and it, you know, goes off like crazy, and everyone's like, Hunter, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, uh, but yeah, they're a really valuable item. I think everybody that's considering getting into ghost hunting with, you know, a group of people should seriously invest in them. We have, what, 10 to 12, you know? Um, these ones go up to 16 mile ranges. They're, they're a phenomenal tool. Um, second option here is uh, actually a laser grid. I don't know if you guys can see that, um, but it reflects. Let's see if we can right off the wall. Yeah, you can, it's light, but you can see it. Um, but we put this in front of like certain cameras and uh, it suits out hundreds of these laser grids and we put them all over the walls. And uh, say we have like a camera right there and we got we feel like this is an active corner or whatever. We'll put the laser grid up beside this camera and the grid is used to pick up apparitions or whatever may move in front of it. Cause when, it, when someone is, when something's walking in front of it, they, uh, it kind of reflects off of them and kind of shifts the light to a certain degree to where it's a lot more you know, noticeable to pick up. Um, but I, yeah, if you're seriously investing into ghost hunting, that's another big, you know, tool that you should really yeah. invest in. Uh, make sure it's a good high powered one too, cause they do drain the batteries pretty quick, but you know, Okay, and our next item, this is actually a pretty inexpensive, I think, mm -hmm. tool to use. It's called a cat ball. Seems really simple, but this is actually pretty valuable. Um, when you press the button, when something touches it, it will light up. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and basically, it not only shows when something's touched it, we also use it to speak with the spirits. A lot of times... Um, We've had sessions where you can ask yes or no questions and it'll set this off. So not only does it detect motion, it can also be a vessel to communicate with us. Um, well, it's a really great tool because it has to physically be moved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as I say, also there's times where we've actually, not just it lighten up, where it's actually moved a little bit, you know, at yeah. times too, which mm -hmm. is another phenomenal tool. And my last item are... These dum, dum, dum. <laughs> <laughs> they are my dousing rods. Um, I get a lot of my information from these things. They're just uh, copper wires. There's a little, they're on a little spindle, so I hold this and they, they spin back. Well, they they work pretty well. She gets a lot of answers, a yeah. lot of activity. And we use a lot of ways to try to confirm, you know, and have had some major. Things confirmed. Things that right. were like, okay, there's no way that's not things that true. Could you know, not have known whatsoever, mm -hmm. yeah. and we confirmed it later to you know witnesses. Mm -hmm. that yeah, right at some on. point we'll do a more in depth video on them about, say, if somebody wanted to get into it, you know, yeah. we'll have you sit down and explain like what you do and those kind of things if right. you're comfortable with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, too long, and also so. if any of you guys yeah. are interested in seeing any of these items you know a little more advanced see how they really work and you know blah 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 whatever uh, you guys want to more in depth there you go um yeah go ahead and leave a comment down below you know we're we're more than willing to show you guys so yeah. not look, wait wait not only oh, do ahead. they give me yes or no answers i can also find objects yes so yeah yeah which is kind of cool too uh, and show where things are going, which is really actually yeah, pretty like, cool. Yeah. yeah. I, one of the things we do when we go out, not every place obviously has electricity. So we invested in a number of different types of um, power banks. What's that? Power banks or stations. Power banks, chargers, different things like that. So that we could you know, have six to eight hours of video without actually ever having to plug anything in. And that's on multiple devices, so we have multiple chargers. Um, <clears throat> and of course, we always make sure that we bring a first aid kit, because you never know what could happen out in the field, especially on uh, some of the rougher, uh, you know, places we go that are falling apart, you know, in mm -hmm. some places. So it's good to always have that with you. I think that's it for me. Yeah, anything else? For about all of us. That's it for all of us. Coffee. 
Oh, coffee, coffee. is yeah. one of our snacks. Yeah. We coffee snacks. Is snacks. Yeah. Very valuable tool yes. to get and lots toilet. of uh, <laughs> toilet yeah. paper. So yes. Also toilet handy paper. to have. Hey, <laughs> baby wipes work both sides. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know. But yeah, we uh, we figured this is give you guys a little idea of what we use um, and, you know, how great some of these tools can really be. So And also an open mind. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Remember, our bodies are our best tool. If you feel something, you know, go with it. Trust your gut. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah to get started, you don't really need all of this kind of stuff. You need, like Lisa said, an open mind, your phone, phone and your a flashlight. senses. Yeah, exactly. And, like, where and did we friend. start out with? And a friend, exactly. Pretty much that. <laughs> yeah. Walkies. <clears throat> if you're more than a group. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think that about does it. Uh, hope you guys found this interesting. As they mentioned, if there's any piece of equipment you'd like a more in-depth explanation on, uh, be sure to leave a comment, and we'll post a video talking about that. Right. Or if you or have any questions. Use, any questions. Any questions in general, cameras, yeah. Like yep. Uh, and make sure to subscribe and like the video and share them with your friends and check out the other videos we have on the page. Yep. We've got a pretty good collection now. All right, we'll see you guys later. Take care.